Blessings, family, peace, and blessings, man. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about seven demonic objects, items, slash items that you need to remove from your house immediately. So what made me to inspire this video, the short I made yesterday was 28 girls who, uh, they were playing with the Uji board. Hopefully I'm saying that, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. People were in the comments, I don't, whatever. But they were playing with that board. I'll leave like a picture so y'all know what I'm talking about here. And they got... 28 of them accordingly had anxiety, quote unquote anxiety. But what really is, is this demonic possession. And there are certain objects that children play with or adults play with, and they have no idea they're opening up into the spiritual realm, the demonic side of it, opening doors for demons in their lives. And I know that this new generation is very lost. So that's why this video is going to be very powerful. And, you know, this, this new generation, when it comes to spirituality, they'll do anything spiritual besides giving their life to, uh, to God. Besides, you know, believing in Jesus, they'll do everything spiritual, crystals and all. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in, okay. And I was once deceived too, as well. I'm gonna go over the ones that I was deceived later on in this video, man. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I had to make this number one. Y'all know when I make my videos, it's never in order. It's just off the top of the head. But this has to be number one, man. It's the evil eye, okay. I'm seeing this a lot with the youth, with the young generation. It's like a trend, you know, for anyone who's spiritual. Uh, there it is guys it's called evil eye like how deceived our people are it's crazy all that stems from Hin the hindu religion it's all demonic and best believe when you have those chains that people guys let me tell you let me give you guys some wisdom some discernment you guys could have people who wear these objects they don't even know that they're being possessed by demons okay De when someone has an evil eye uh ring uh necklace um things of that nature Guys, it's demonic possession. They don't even know. Okay, I know some people might scoff in the comments, laugh, ha ha, you're wrong, this and that. But the Lord has shown me this many times. Not just that, all the things I'm going over. Okay, it is demonic possession. Best believe demons are real. Demonic strongholds are real. Satan wants to deceive you. He wants to lead you to the lake of fire because that's where he's going. So he's going to think, he's either use these things that the world promotes as cool or deems as cool or spiritual. And I'm spiritual, but I'm spiritual led by the Holy Spirit. These, this new, the world's, the spiritual that the world practices is 100% demonic. It's not tied to the Bible. It's not tied to God or Christ. It's all like demonic fallen angel activity, okay? So guys, the evil eye, the emojis y'all be using, you know, I, I, be, I be peeping it. Uh, the necklaces, I'm telling you, throw that away from your house because best believe certain objects that you allow in your house can invite doors for demons into your life. I'm telling you, the spiritual realm is real. It's no joke, okay? Spiritual warfare is real. Okay, so that's number one. Y'all know I don't do things in order. This brightness, this light's kind of bright in the way. So yeah, y'all know I don't do things in order, but I had to make that number one. Okay, number two is idols or slash objects from all religions. So yes, that means Christianity too as well, okay? Idols and objects from all religions, not just the Buddha statue, uh, not just... Um, Muhammad, whatever, you know, whatever idols and objects from all these other religions, right? Especially Christianity. Jesus never told us to get a cross, wear a cross to represent your faith. A lot of, you know, I made videos about this talking about it's a graven image, graven image. And, you know, we keep God's commandments over here because he who says I know him and keep not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. So uh, the Lord has revealed to me, you know, how to throw away, you know, the quote unquote white Jesus, how to throw that away because that's all idols. Okay. Uh, even the Bible gives us a description of how Christ looked like, and he looks nothing like what the world promotes. That's actually the, the Christ that y'all, the quote unquote Christ y'all see is actually Caesar Bourget. Okay. It was a Pope's son. Research is key. We got to start researching things, you know, and don't rely on someone to teach you something. And if someone is teaching you something, I even think I'm teaching you guys in my videos, do your own research, spend time to really deep, dig down deep into what I'm saying and do your own research, especially with the evil eye and all the things I'm going over as well. Okay. So um, the cross, people tell me, you know, Mark, you know, I want to represent my faith by wearing a cross, uh, getting a tattoo of a Bible verse, something like that. What the Bible says in James chapter two, verse eight says that, yea, a man may say thou hast faith and I have works. Show me by thy faith without thy works. And I will show you my faith by works. So if you want to represent your faith to people, they're going to know it by your works. You know, if someone wants to, wants to know about my faith, I'll say, oh yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mark the Messenger. Instagram, Mark the Messenger. And you'll see, you'll see all my videos. I show you my faith. I don't have to represent it by wearing a graven image, a cross, okay? I don't have to represent it by uh, putting a Jesus, uh, quote unquote, Jesus poster in my house, okay? 
uh, all this, not just that too, but also, because we all know about the Buddha statue. We all know all that stuff is false gods, is all idols. So we, you know, us people in the faith, we know that. So we don't play with that. But it also stems down to graven images too that, that represent light, that represent Christianity. Because remember, Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. Even the wooden cross that people pray to, they bow down to, this is what the Bible says. And these, a lot of these churches ain't going to tell you all this, man. A lot of them ain't. This is in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 64, it says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among thy people from one end of the earth, even to another. And there shall I serve other gods, which neither thy fathers have known, even one in stone. You know, you see all the time people bowing down to the, the, the uh, Christian, Christian cross, you know. But nowhere in the Bible it says to do that. Nowhere in the Bible does it say to pray down to, uh, to a cross. It actually says to lock yourself in your room, which means just do things in private and pray in private. Nowadays, guys, you see people praying on a YouTube video praying and open but the bible makes it clear that when you pray you want, you want to do it in secret you don't want to be as a hypocrite oh he's righteous because your favor your reward is through people seeing that oh he's praying he's righteous he's holy but god says you want to do things in private okay so um that's one thing that god told me when, when i first came to the truth i had to remove i had a jesus or uh, quote unquote jesus statue which is caesar Borgia. i had a cross i had to throw away uh people were looking at me like i was crazy you know the other religious people like they were like looking like what are you doing what are you doing mark but I'm being led by the Holy Spirit, threw it away, let go of all idols. And I'm telling you, when I threw that away, in the process, there was a lot of spiritual warfare. The house I was living at the time, that person kept, I threw it in the trash can, that person kept putting it back in my room. Spiritual warfare is real, guys. And it, it, best believe, when you're throwing these stuff away, you're going to go through heavy spiritual warfare too as well, man. People are going to try to keep you that being bondage to idolatry. They're going to try to keep you being bondage to these idols that God is convicting you of to throw away. Okay, number three. So it says, burn. This is what a lot of people do, too, especially the, the youth, the younger generation, okay? Burning sage to remove bad energy, okay? And when they say bad energy, remember, these are people who claim to be spiritual. They should acknowledge that that bad energy they're talking of is demons. Just be, you're spiritual, right? You just, just, just call it how it is. Bad energy from people, it's just demonic spirits working through that vessel, okay? And no one in the Bible says that you're supposed to light sage to remove uh, bad energy. Let me turn this on. Nowhere in the Bible does it say you have to remove, um, or sorry, light sage in your house, all around the house or whatever you're at to remove bad energy. Nowhere in the scriptures it says that. All that is heavily linked to witchcraft. If you actually watch, not saying you guys should watch it, but witches on YouTube, they, they have the horoscopes, they have the sage, they have the tarot cards, they have the crystals. All that is demonic. All of it. Okay, so um, when it comes to burning sage... You know, and the Bible says, you know, people who want to get rid of that bad energy, which means just get rid of those demons. Okay, the Bible says, resist the devil, submit to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Okay, that's in James chapter 4, verse 7. So if you want to get rid of these spirits, these demonic spirits, or that quote unquote bad vibes, bad energy that you guys say, get, you know, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. Okay, simple as that. Your obedience. Okay, number four. This is another one. You know, people use these crystals, okay? And I'm going to explain this in a bit. So crystals to protect, you know, people use a sage, you know, they, they light sage to protect from bad energy, but also they use a crystal to protect themselves from bad energy. And let me tell you how the devil works. The devil wants you to put your faith and trust in these objects and these carnal objects that he wants you to worship the creation more than the creator, okay? But when you put your trust in the Lord, the Bible says the, the who who puts his trust in the Lord shall be safe, Okay. Uh, when, when you allow the Holy Spirit in through your obedience, you don't have to worry about any of this. You don't have to worry about none of this. But the thing is, people rather stay up, be of the world. People rather, you know, stay in sin, don't want to live a life of repentance, don't want to be set apart. So they're going to have to battle these demonic spirits. Okay, you got to choose a side. The Bible makes it clear you can't serve two masters. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, you got to pick a side. Okay, so like I said, guys, I was once deceived by these things too, okay? God showed me, and that's why I'm making this video to show you guys too, okay? So don't think I'm, you know, judging you or, you know, that's what the, the demons like to tell people that, oh, he's just being hateful. I'm just telling you all the truth. And I know, I understand this society we live in, it's just like people are so dumbed down that they hate the truth. They, they reject the truth, but they would rather believe lies, okay? Even the Bible says that would happen, that people will be given over to a strong delusion because they, uh, they didn't want the truth, okay? So... And one thing about these crystals that you guys are buying, you guys are buying it in these shops, right? Not even knowing that that shop owner is a witch. Not even knowing that so shop owner is a wizard, is a warlock. And they're casting spells in these crystals. And now you bring it to your house. And now the demons are at work. This is real, man. This is a spiritual battle. I'm telling you guys, if you're watching this video, it's not by coincidence. 
Throw, the, throw those items away immediately. Throw it in the fire. Burn it. Throw it in the trash can. Do whatever you can to remove it because I'm telling you, the devil is worn after your soul. He wants to keep you in bondage. He wants to keep you in witchcraft, idolatry, sorcery. He wants you, okay? Number five. Oh, also, Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, and you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, okay? So when you have the, when you walk in the authority, when you're walking in the Holy Spirit, you have power, okay? You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't fear no demon, you don't fear none of that because you have the power. The demons actually fear you. They actually fear you. They're afraid of you. The, the light on you, it beams bright. Okay, and best believe these demons, they know when, when you're about to receive the Holy Spirit. They know when you're walking with God and you're about to level up. So they're going to do their best. These demonic forces, the de demonic army, the spiritual wickedness in high places, they're going to do their best they can to take you out, to try to get you to backtrack, you know, to get you to go out of the narrow path, to go to that broad path. Okay, and the devil, he's going to even use, you know, the religious people, you know, the people who profess to be Christians, but are really just tares, children of the wicked one, children of Satan. He's going to use them too. So be, guys, be sober, be watchful, and please pay attention to the signs, man. Number five, books or movies or CDs. Okay, I didn't have enough space, but books or movies or CDs that influence witchcraft, okay? And I put it, for example, Harry Potter. Or astrology and horoscopes, okay? Books and movies that influence witchcraft. It's not a surprise, it's not a coincidence that Harry Potter at the time was one of the biggest movies ever, which is heavily influenced in witchcraft and sorcery, okay? Promoting wizards and witches and all that type of stuff. When you have those books in your house, when you have those movies, now that's just an example. There's plenty of other things. Even though the 48 Laws of Power, which it teaches you witchcraft to manipulate people. When you have these books in your house, when you have darkness in your house, I'm telling you, it is a spiritual warfare that you can't see. And, you know, I remember, I, I don't mean, I, I think I read, my first book I read was actually the Harry Potter book back when I was like in second or third grade. I had movies in my household. I had the books in my household. And I just threw it all away. Once God was showing me, I threw it all the way, all the way, the horoscopes. I had the app on my phone, deleted it, everything, okay? It's all about being obedient. And like I said, if you don't believe I'm right, you think I'm wrong, ask God. Get in prayer. Lock yourself in a closet in a room and ask God to reveal uh, things to you. Ask God to show you what you need to throw away, what you need to get rid of, okay? And, you know, so the books, the movies, the witchcraft books, you know, y'all know, y'all know. Anything that's not centered on God, anything that's not centered on the Bible and Christ, get rid of when it comes to spirituality, okay? Not saying that you can't read a book outside of the Bible, but when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to your faith, you know, and see what the saying does, he disguises himself as a light. So he's going to use the new age stuff to deceive you. You know, remember, what did Eve say? She bit the fruit and the, the serpent deceived her. She was deceived. And you don't want to be deceived either. Okay, so always keep in mind, all that type of stuff, throw it out. Same thing goes with the tarot cards. Okay, all that is heavenly witchcraft. All that is, um, the Bible says it's an abomination. Okay, divination, foreseeing the future. The Bible condemns that. Uh, it's an abomination to God, okay? You're no longer, you're no, nowhere in the Bible does it say that, does it instruct uh, Bible believers, people who believe in God, believe in Jesus, that we should, you know, be foreseeing the future. What well, my life is going to be three three months from now, three years ago. You should just put your trust in the Lord. And the Bible says that we don't walk by sight, but by a faith. So put your faith that even though things are not going right in your life, you know, if you're, you remember, the Bible said, also says that if a man doesn't work, he shall not eat. So if you're working, whatever goals and dreams you got, and you're putting your trust in the Lord and you're being obedient to him, you don't have to foresee the future because you, you know that his word is true and the blessings come with the obedience. You don't need to go to, to see a witch or a wizard or to see a, a foreseer, any of that. All that's an abomination. The Lord talks about that in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 14. Okay, next one up, last one is dream catchers and other new age objects. There's so many new age objects. I just listed the popular ones, but I saw someone asking me a question. I had multiple people ask those questions last year about the dream, caster, dream catchers and how, you know, they use it to get rid of bad dreams and nightmares. And once again, no one in the Bible does say to put a dream catcher on top of your head so the dreams could get away. All that is paganism. All that sense of pagan roots, okay? If you, best believe, guys, when you're going to, when you're sleeping at night, it's, spirit, it's spiritual warfare in your dreams too. You ever notice how you want to stop watching pornography? You want to stop masturbating? Uh, you want to live a life of purity and celibacy, semen retention? You start to notice you start getting wet dreams when you're having intercourse in your dreams. You're having an intercourse with the demon. I made a video about that too as well. Okay, so a spiritual warfare. Those demons don't want you to be free. They don't want you to break the bondage of sin. They don't want you to break the bondage of uncleanness. So they're going to try their best to take you out. So that's what I'm saying. Put on the full armor of God. Okay, because we don't battle against flesh and blood. Dream catchers, all that, 
You don't want to have that because maybe God could be giving you a dream, but that dream catcher is blocking it. This is all spiritual, man. I know this might be a joke to most people because to most people, it's just, everything is just a joke, especially when it comes to the Bible. But I'm telling you guys, all you Bible believers, get rid of all the new age, uh, new age objects that the Bible doesn't say to do. You're using that to because your spiritual beliefs telling you if it's not linked to the Bible, not linked to God, Christ, get rid of it, man. These are the seven demonic objects you need to get rid of immediately because yes, it does open doors into your household. If you guys, if you guys made this far, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I make more of these videos. I have plenty of videos on witchcraft, gang stalking, spiritual warfare. You guys want to check it out? Check out my channel. And hit up uh, the post notification bell too as well. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.